I think the whole part about it and a lot of what we talk about and what we enjoy and why we probably go fishing together as much as we do is exploring new places because that's the fun of it. Everybody loves to catch fish and you can go to places where you know that you're always going to catch fish but you maybe do some research on the lake so that you can kind of narrow down your destination to somewhere that you can research is going to be in theory productive but having to actually get there and then to see it and to figure out. You can look at it on a map but then once you actually get there and you kind of get down to it it's pretty exciting and pretty fun. I hadn't fished the caribou much, so I was really excited to, to head back up there and explore more of it. There's so much to, to see and fish up there. Right away we saw fish and they started chasing our flies right away. We hooked up pretty, pretty quickly. fish and get along really well because I think we value the same things when we go fishing. It's not about who can catch the most fish or it's not about being competitive with one another. It's it's just about figuring it out. Oh, did you see that? That's awesome. The weather on that lake, I mean, we had everything. It was sunny, and then it was raining, and then it was really raining, and then it was cloudy, and then it was sunny again, and then it got warm. Usually for lake fishing, that is a bad sign. wasn't paying attention my reel started screaming and yeah it, it was the nicest fish of the day that was pretty cool to see you know a nice big one for the day come out of that lake beautiful fish too I mean, I love river fishing, especially for dry flies. So for me, to be able to go and fish a dry fly system that we haven't fished before in an area that we haven't fished before, I'm just excited to do that. It's completely new and that's, again, part of the fun of it because you go to those places and you have to figure it out. And having never been there is just kind of all part of it. And the technicality of dry fly fishing for trout is just my favorite thing. So I'm excited. Me too. Especially uh, hearing about, you know, really big stone flies like that. There's not a lot of places near Vancouver that you can fish that kind of stuff.
clearly there at, you know, the perfect timing. There was a huge stonefly hatch going on, and we watched fish after fish after fish gorge on these huge flies, you know, exploding out of the water and chomping on these huge, huge bugs. It was really cool to be able to fish another river that has a wild population of rainbows that aren't that big but love huge, you know, one and a half inch to two inch dry flies, huge adult stoneflies. The caribou is undeniably beautiful in its own way and having the ability to do um, still water and river fishing trips in the same weekend on the same kind of adventure is something that I think is unique to the caribou.